Hey. So for, for me, it sounded like there was no doubt about going for it down there, that that was a situation where you just needed a touchdown. Can you just kind of go over that? Yeah, you know, you're on the road. Um, and we've been fairly good red zone offense, you know, last couple of years, feel really good about some calls. Um, you know, and I'm, heck, I was all for it. Let's go. You know, you're on on the road. You, you come up here to try to win the game, you know. Uh, there, you know, at the t at how much time was left in the game? You know, that, that would have put us Nine up. to ten minutes. Yeah. So, you know. Uh, but, uh, no, I thought that was the right move. And, I mean, it all comes down to, like, we double clutched the snap out of the bootleg and that set up for disaster there on them. You can't, that can't happen and it did, but you gotta try to overcome that. That put us in a, a bad spot, you know. First down, you know, called the same play we scored on earlier. Uh, we got one yard, thought a boot could slip in there, uh, went for it, you know. And then we lost, what did we lost, like six yards or something like that off of that. And that, that kind of messed that old thing up, right? It put you off schedule. Um, you know, and then we had to call a timeout because we had to get, you know, that's all on me. I wasn't expecting to lose six yards on that play and then I had to get another personnel grouping back out there. Blah, blah, blah. So, because um, if we just threw it out of bounds, we were going to come back with the same personnel group and run a run play, try to punch it in there. Um, so that kind of got, got me off schedule. I had to burn that timeout, which, which hurt us, which I can't do that. What about not having the keel or not having the keel healthy? Yeah, you know, that was tough, you know, because, um, uh, you know, you build you build things around him, you know, because he's an elite player. And when you have an elite player, you build um, you build formations around him in certain things. And uh, and he's been an extremely durable player his entire career. And I think this is kind of the first time we didn't have him in, in spurts. Or he was down, and uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, that that kind of hurt us a little bit on some things we could do. But but um, but he's going to be okay. You know, it was. I think he's going to get this week off, and he'll be he'll be fine. And what about their adjustments to your run game? Yeah, you know, I thought they did a good job, and you know, you can always put more guys in the box than you can block. And so that's why you know you saw us chunking it deep, and we actually that the one post which we you know landed on the three, we just put that in on the sideline. Um, we hadn't run that play all week, or we've never run that play. We just slapped it in there because you could tell how tight the safeties were playing, and it popped for a whatever yarder. That was awesome. But um, it was a testament to the kids, you know, paying attention on the sidelines and just being able to do that. That was great. Um, but yeah, they're you know they put they just started putting as many people as they can in the box, and they you know dared you to throw it deep. Um, I thought you know the first half we were on schedule. Man, I don't know if I've ever been around a game. We had three. We had the ball three times. Is that correct? Yeah. We had it three. We, we, yeah, that, that's crazy. You know, and uh, it just seemed like it was gone like that. I think we went on some long drives, so we scored two out of the. Actually, we scored three out of our first four drives because we scored right after halftime, and then then they did. They started putting guys in the box, and they started doing some good things there on defense. And um, uh, you know, I tried to keep them off balance. I did bootlegs on first down, two possessions in a row, kind of got us started, which was which was good. Good to see, uh, and then we kind of petered out there on the, on those two drives. That man, that hurt. And then uh, you know, I heard Danny talking about the, you know, that's not on the defense, man. To me, can't comes down, man. You can't score on the three yard line. You don't deserve to win the game, man. You know what I mean? Is it, is it to the point now that in that situation you don't even have to wait to see what Herm's going to do? That you know he's going to go for it on the fourth down inside the five, like he? Did. Oh yeah, I mean absolutely. You know. We threw that pass to, to um, uh, Kyle. He caught it. Was that Kyle? It was Kyle, right? On the on the drive, and we got down to the three, and uh, we had. I mean, felt pretty good about the call. You know, uh, it was going to be a run play where you had two fades to two big guys. You know, we had Curtis over there. We had Nikhil over there, and they lined up man to man. And uh, if they would have gotten anything other than that, with the safeties kind of favoring the two fades, we would have ran the ball. So. You know, we just didn't come. We didn't come through with that play. We we need to make that play. Was it a, was it a, a like you said he double touched the snap or? Yeah, it looked like he kind of uh, it kind of and then it it caused him to come out a little bit late and mess the. T that is a pure timing play, man. Is 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 probably the the most timing play that you could have in football. Is that that reverse out boot to the running back because all he needs to do is just get an edge on that guy. All right, and then if the quarterback is not in phase, then the guy can get in front, and that's what happened. It just seemed like it. Uh, 
um, it, that's what happened on that. The drive you had right out of the right out of halftime. Yeah, it must have been pretty encouraging. Did 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 you think at that point that? You know, hey, we can build off a run game, open it up to some here. In the yeah, absolutely. And yeah, and I told the guys that when I come into, uh, we came into halftime. I said, look, we're going to start throwing the ball. They're going to, we're going to, they're coming up, they're coming up, they're coming up, and we're going to throw it behind them. And um, and we did that on the on the first drive on that post to Frank. Yep. But you just couldn't really sustain that then, as you know, going forward because they yeah. had a bunch, of, several punts in a row then. Yep, exactly. And, and I can't. It's, it's hard for me to remember that. There's two drives I know that we started with boots, and then then we didn't. I don't think we got a first down after those two first downs. I think that's true. So I just have to look at film. I, I can't remember. But, but yeah, those two drives really kind of hurt us there, especially when we got the ball with good field position after the punt. Um, I mean, we got to do something with that. You know, we got to do something with that. Thanks, Ron.